Yeah. Hello everybody. Hello, hello. Um yeah, I anyways, hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. So uh I'm just in the mode of sharing now. Uh oh, wait a minute. Um all right. All right. Mm, okay. Um mm, uh, let's see, yeah, here we go. Okay. All right. There we are. Anyways, hey, how's it going tonight? So, anyways, hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Jim. This is Big Jim Blogcast Live. Um, I was just posting all of this. Um, anywho, uh, let me... All right. Okay. So, anyways. Uh, all right. Just switching in. Mm, all right. So, and Gwen, how's it going? Uh, Sue, I'm glad to see you guys out here tonight. Um, share the group. All right, so feel free to share it. Um, do, 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 do. All right. Um, do, 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 do. All right. Mm. Mm. All right, yeah, I'm just sharing this, like, uh, blogcast. So, all right, let's see the new comments here. Yeah. All right, it is... Okay, so let's see. Yep. All right, craft beer reviews. There we go. Uh, okay. There we go. Um There we go. Share. There we go. Um, mm, mm. Okay. So, all right. So, anyways, hey, Susan and and uh, yeah, feel free to share this broadcast with wherever you want to. Um, I was just sharing it. So, anyways. Um, all right, so now I gotta. I'll switch over here. I'll switch profile. There we go. All right, so there we are. All right. Ah, okay. Okay. All right. Hmm. All right. So to group. Okay. So 
All right. All right. Uh, okay. All right. Anyways, yeah. Welcome. This is Big Jim Vlogcast Live, version 4.0, episode 233. It is Sunday, September 25th, 2022. Um, all right, everybody. So let, rock on. All right. Uh, let's see. All right. So. Okay. Um, okay. So. All right. Uh, 30. All right. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Okay. So yeah, uh, I'll be with you in a minute. Um, mm. Mm. <laughs> All right. Okay. So here we go. All right. Not now. Uh, All right. Okay. Anyways, uh, what do we got here? All right. So, yeah. All right. So, anyways, uh, welcome to Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 4.0, episode 233, Sunday, September 25th, Sunday, September 25th, 2022. Um, welcome, everybody. Uh, we got a lot, like, uh, yeah, I'll go through my disclaimer. Um, uh, yeah, I may say a few bad, dirty words like shit, damn, screw, fuck, um... So, there we are. Okay. So, I may say the L word, the F word. So, go to your safe spaces, get a bar, get a tissue, a Kleenex. Anyways, uh, yeah, you may have, some of those words may slip out tonight. So, um, and feel free to share this broadcast with all over Facebook for anybody. Um, so, yeah, uh, welcome to Big Jim Blogcast Live version 4.0. Um, Episode 233 on Facebook Live airing Sundays, 8 p.m., the occasional Friday or Saturday night, or once in a while, a wine o'clock Wednesday. So, um, mm. we are in our fourth year. We debuted back in November of 2018. We're based out of Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. Um, now, Big Jim Blogcast Live does craft beer reviews like this one tonight. It's called Zesty Farmer Pale Ale. Uh, I'll get to that in a minute. Trying it for the very first time. Plus, we uh, like we do craft beer reviews from breweries like all over Ontario, Sarnia, Ontario, uh, right across Canada. Over 200 track. We've tr I've tried over 200 different craft beers um, the past four years, um, and we pair it up with a good cigar and spirit. So I'm pairing it up with Appleton Estates Rum tonight. And a Rocky Patel cigar. So, vintage. So, right on. Um, okay. So, anyways, uh, let's see here. What do we got here? I'll read that. Okay. So, anyways, yeah. Um, about Big big Jim. Okay. So, Big Jim Blogcast Live. We keep you informed with local events near you. Countdowns, birthday shout-outs to our friends. We talk about classic TV spin-offs one two three one two three hit season wonders uh canceled tv shows etc 70s 80s 90s rock classic rock classic albums one hit wonders guitar duos what have you uh classic 80s 90s pro wrestling the uh jobbers the uh stables the defunct leagues like uwf wcw nwa awa tag teams pay-per-views Classic sci-fi like droid ships, weapons, aliens, minor characters from Star Wars, Star Trek, Battlestar Galactica, etc. This week in Van Halen history, plus sports like hockey, baseball, football, basketball, UFC. This year it's hockey card heroes. Uh, classic 70s, 80s, 90s movies, sequels, prequels, etc. Random gong solos like this one. <laughs> Boom. Uh, that's Big Jim Blogcast Live in a nutshell. Um, so tune it, turn us on, tune in, enjoy the show. Let's keep it light and fan friendly here. 
religion and politics are off limits. So I want to remind everybody. Also, I'll remind everybody through the, about the blogcast at Big Jim Blogcast Live is not spam. It uh, we go later. Um, the, the audio version goes out later on uh, Spotify, Buzzsprout, Anchor FM, Google Podcast, YouTube. I've got my own YouTube channel, so we're not we're not uh, spam. So like us, share, subscribe to us, um, and the audio version will go out later on all these audio po- uh, podcast listening platforms. So, anyways, yes. So just to say hi to everybody watching in the Port Elgin Sarnia groups. Um, uh, Sarnia Rocks, Chain Reaction, all the pop culture groups, all the Van Halen, craft beer, cigars, sci-fi, Star Wars, Star, uh, Pro Wrestling, Blogspot, uh, Tom Selleck, Peter Frampton, Jim Crochet groups, right on. So, anyways, um, let's see here. Maybe I can switch back to, uh, all right, switching profile, and maybe I will. Um, okay, so there we are. Share to a group. Maybe I can share more. Um, okay. Uh, do, 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 do. All right. Mm. Van Halen full blast and top down. Remembering the original Van Halen. Uh, okay. So. Mm. All right. Uh, okay. Okay, hockey cards, hockey collectibles, post. Uh, all right. And so, okay. All right, there we are. All right, uh, and what else? Okay. Blogging and vlogging, blog friends, boom. All right. So, here we are. All right. So, anyways, yeah. Um, and what do we got here? All right. So, okay. So, anyways, yeah. Um, that's us in a nutshell. So, we're going to get into our craft beer uh, review here. But we're going to have some birthday shoutouts. We're going to have countdowns. Local events. Um, what do we got here? So, all right. Um, all right. So, uh, and we'll. What's on tap for tonight? Police Academy Two. I got the movie on right now. Magnum PI season five of it. Uh, Darren Din from Star Wars. Uh, Brian Little, our hockey card hero for tonight. Uh, our Iron Mike Sharp, classic WWF jobber. Uh, classic album, Frampton Comes Alive by Peter Frampton, Rockstar Plane Crashes, Jim Crochet, and the ever-popular This Week in Van Halen History. So, right on. So, anyways, um, mm, okay, so, mm, <laughs> all right, so, okay, uh, mm, share to a group, all right, mm, Mm-hmm. All right. Mm, okay, so. Oh, Appleton. There we are. Okay. Okay, there we are. Um, <laughs> Blogcast party ensues. Right on. Okay, so there we go. New comments here. All right. Great. Um, all right. So anyways, um, we've got our craft beer for tonight. I'm trying it for the very first time. It is called Zesty Farmer Pale Ale. Um, it is... All right, so... I'm going to light this up first, so this cigar, and remember I'm pairing it with Appleton Estates rum, so, (coughs) 
<coughs> All right. Well, anyway, there we go. Um, hmm. All right. So what do we got here? All right. Mm. Mm. Okay. So here we go. All right. So tonight's beer and... I have uh, pairing it with like uh, Appleton Estate uh, Jamaican rum. Um, it is called Zesty Farmer Pale Ale by River Road Brewing and Hops in Bayfield, Ontario, Canada. So I'm trying it for the very first time and it's got uh, water, barley, yeast, hops, and lemon zest. Well, this should be good. So anyways, I'm opening it. There we go. Um, I've got their glass here. Let's see. Let's see. All right. All right. So far, good. Look at that. All right. And so, okay. All right. Gonna wait for that to just tail down here. Um, now I'm trying it for the very first time. Um, it's got to grow on me all through the blogcast. So, anyways, yeah. Mm. All right. Here it goes. All right. Okay. It's kind of like a Coors Light-esque taste to it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. You can really taste that little bit. There's a little bit of lemon in that. So, mmm. Mmm. All right. Oh, and the rum's not bad with it either. So, anyways. Um. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> All right, so mm. okay, so anyways, yeah. Mm. Mm. There we are. All right, there we are. Okay. Hmm. Good cigar. It is a Rocky Patel, Connecticut. Um, great cigar. So, anyways, yeah. Um, it, it uh, like I said, Zesty Farmer Pale Ale by the uh, River Road Brewing and Hops in Bayfield, Ontario, Canada. I do give it a rating out of ten later on in the blog cast. It's got to grow on me first, so we'll top that up. Um, we got lots to get to tonight, including some birth. Well, we got a lot of birthday shout outs, so. Mm. Mm. All right. It's, I thought, I thought when it said lemon in it, I thought, oh, this isn't going to be good. But it's, I surprised myself a little bit. So, uh, it, but it's got to grow on me. And when I do craft beer reviews, I don't go, I don't go like, oh, well, it's very exquisite tasting beer. That's a, no, I just, I go with my gut on, on that. So, anyways, here we go. Uh, yeah. All right. So, hmm. 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 <coughs> All right. So, <coughs> excuse me. So, please feel free to share this blogcast with all over Facebook to any of your Facebook groups. Um, all right. So let's get to some birthday shout outs here. All right. Okay. Gong time. Anyways, from September 12th to September 25th, I wasn't here last Sunday. So, um, well, by the way, yeah, last Sunday, uh, last weekend was excellent. But anyways, Bob McGee, Janet Walton, Judy Mahoney, Angie Goodyear, Annette Caroline, Laura Tote, Scott Gordon, Paula Loxton, J.R. Smith, Jocelyn Sweeney, Sherry Stewart, Candace Henry, Carol McFadden, Kimberly Dawn, Kirsten Borier, Maurice Byers, Don Marie, Brian Baumier, Tim Bernard, Doug Dunn, Shelley Andrews, Deborah Pring, Paul Horgor, Horgarth, Kim Kelter, Tanya Sari, Bernal Gerber, Teresa Carr, and Eugene Cortez. Happy birthday, you guys. All right. So, yeah. All right. So, anyways, um, I'm going to send in Messenger. Mm. 
Hmm. There we go. Hmm. There we are. <coughs> so, there we are. Um, there we are. So, anyways, yeah, I've, uh, hopefully River Road Brewing and Hops is watching tonight. So, anyways, um, yeah, so happy birthday, everybody, to the birthdays I didn't get. Um, you know, I wasn't here last weekend, but, uh, yeah, Bob McGee, Janet Walton, Judy Mahoney, Angie Goodyear, Annette Caroline, Laura Tote, Scott Gordon, Paula Loxton, J.R. Smith, Jocelyn Sweeney, uh, Sherry Stewart, Candace Henry, Carol McFadden, Kimberly Dawn, Kristen Boré, Maurice Byers, Dea, Dawn Marie, Brian Balmier, Tim Bernard, Doug Dunn, Shelley Andrews, Deborah Pring, Paul Orgorth, Paul Horgarth, Kim Kelter, Tanya Sari, Bernal Gerber, Teresa Gar, and Eugene Cortez. So, boom, boom, boom. Happy birthday, everybody. So, all right. Mm. Mm. <coughs> so, we'll get to some countdowns and we'll get to some local events here. Um, all right. And I'm gonna, before we get underway, I want to remind the people out there that are watching, and uh, I want to give shouts out to the Port Elgin Sarnia group, especially Sarnia Rocks, Chain Reaction, all the pop culture groups, uh, the Van Halen Craft Beer, Cigars, Star Wars, the Pro Wrestling, Classic TV and Movies, Peter Frampton, Jim Crochet, Tom Selleck groups, Magnum P.I. Um, yeah, right on. You guys rock. And remind you all that this broadcast is not spam. The audio version will go out later on Spot. Spotify, Buzzsprout, Anchor FM, my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast, live at YouTube, and all these uh, audio listening platforms where you listen to your podcast. So, cheers, everybody. Um, all right. So, mm, 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 mm. <coughs> I'll place this over here. It doesn't get in my way. Um... Yes, chain reaction rock. So yeah. Um, anyways, um, yeah. So let's get some countdowns here. So, all right. Halloween is only thirty-six days away. Thanksgiving is sixty days away. Christmas is ninety-one days away. Remembrance Day is forty-seven days away. Boxing Day is ninety-two days away. Daylight savings time, where we turn our clocks uh, back, is going to be 42 days away. And I know you don't want to hear this news, but winter time is only 87 days away. Yes, yeah, so enjoy, enjoy the fall. We said goodbye to summer last week, last Thursday. Excellent summer, by the way. Um, if I could go back and restart the summer, I would. So, mm. Mm. <coughs> all right. So, anyways, yeah. Um, hang on. So there we go. Uh, let's see here. All right. So yeah. Um, it is Big Jim's Blogcast Live, version 4.0, episode 233. It is Sunday, September 25th, 2022. Thank you for ending your weekend with me as we get into some local events now. So, for the past couple of years, COVID really put a damper on on, lo on any public local events with the buzzwords being hiatus, rescheduled, canceled, postponed. Um, it, uh, But that's over now. Uh, and here we go with our local events here. Judas Priestess, November 12th, 2022 at Rustic in Sarnia. It's an all-female band, tribute band to Judas Priest, www.ticketscene.ca. Saturday, October 15th, 2022 at 7.30 p.m. is a, is Sandman. It's a Metallica tribute band, and they are licensed by the actual real Metallica at Rustic, www.ticketscene.ca. And... You know, I got to see this one, folks, because, you know, if they're licensed by Metallica, endorsed by Metallica, then they must be a really good uh, Metallica tribute band. Um, mm. 
Mm. There are weekly Saturday night dances. They started September 10th. They run from October 1st to the 29th. Um, 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. $7 cover charge. Um, at the Sarnia Legion downstairs, 286 Front Street North. $7 cover charge there. Um, mm. Friday, October 7th, 2022 at 7 p.m. is Oktoberfest. First Friday, the Sarnia Legion, um, 286 Front Street North, the live band, games, darts, beers, food. Brigden Fair, October 7th, 9 a.m. till October 10th, 4.30 p.m. Ride, shows. See the Facebook, see the Brigden Fair Facebook page for more info on that, folks. Um, Saturday, oh, yeah, yeah, this has been canceled. Saturday, November 19th, there was supposed to be like, um, no, it's not canceled. I don't know. No, no, there was something else canceled. But Saturday, November 19th, 8 p.m., Killer Divorce, 40 years, still standing to her at Rustic, www.ticketscene.ca. Saturday, November 5th, 8 p.m., Have a Cigar. It's a Pink Floyd tribute at Rustic, www.ticketscene.ca. Um, Saturday, October 8th, 9.30 a.m., is Pumpkin Fest at Corny Corners, Farm 6193, Blackwell Side Road in Sarnia. It's mini golf, farm animals, $15 per person, $10 per senior. Um, it's going to be fun. Um, and plus they've got a huge giant maze. Uh, and this Saturday, next weekend at uh, Rustic, is 10 seconds over Tokyo. Now if you grew up in Sarnia um, or area, in the area you'll, uh, the, the legendary band, uh, 10 Seconds Over Tokyo featuring Bill Eldridge, Vale McCollman, um, Tom and Ted Beaton. Um, all right. So, anyways, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another. Uh, mm, mm. All right. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, that's another another thing. That, 10 Seconds Over Tokyo reuniting. Um Bill, if I could get tickets, that'd be great. Thank you. Um, I know you're watching. So, yeah, uh, get your tickets. They might have been all sold out. You never know. So, anyways, yeah. Well, all right. Mm. 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 All right. So, good cigar. It is a Rocky Patel, Connecticut. Mm. All right. So, yeah, let's get going here. So, before we start into, like, the police, um, yeah, so I got you your birthday shout-outs, your countdowns, your local events, um, our craft beer for tonight, and this one's really surprising me, it is called Zesty Farmer Pale Ale by the River Road Brewing and Hops in Bayfield, Ontario, Canada. Now, hmm, hmm. There's a tiny percent, tiny little aftertaste of lemon in this. This is, they said it was pure lawn cutting beer. Our pale ale based recipe is aged in the bright tank with fresh lemon peel. Think lemon pie meets light beer. That for the zesty farmer in you. Well, I'll be the judge of that tonight. Um, if you've ever been to River Road Brewing and Hops right outside of Bayfield, it's a, it's a farm basically with a donkey in it. So... Yeah, um, good place to go. So, if you're on a craft brewery tour, mm. so far so good. It's got the it, it's uh, like I can, myself. There's no unpleasant aftertaste for to this. Uh, good beer so far. Sesty Farmer Pale Ale. Um, and we are here on Keona County's first farm-based brewery, dedicated to providing delicious, high-quality craft of beers. Each beer we create offers a unique tasting experience. Right on. It says that on the can. There you go. Riverroadbrewing.com. So, but yeah. Pairing it up with like uh, Apple of the States Jamaican rum. Pretty good. All right. So, mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, good combo there. All right. So, okay. Mm. Mm. <coughs> All right. Oh, there we go. Boom. 
All right, and uh, before we get going here, I want to say hi to everybody watching the Sarnia Port Elgin groups, uh, Sarnia Rock, Sarnia Ontario, uh, Chain Reaction, all the pop culture groups, the retro classic nostalgia groups, the Van Halen classic rock groups, um, craft beer, cigars, uh, Star Wars, pro wrestling, Blogspot, classic TV and movies, Peter Frampton, Jim Crochet, Magnum P.I. Um, yeah, so, oh, well, hey, what do we got here? Um, all right, so this broadcast is not spam. I will tell you this right now. The audio version goes out later on Spotify, Anchor FM, Google Podcast, my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live, uh, YouTube, um, plus all these audio listening platforms you can listen uh, audio platforms where you can listen to the, to the podcast. So like us, share us, subscribe to us, rock on. So, all right, now that we've gotten that out of the way, here we go with like Police Academy 2 in our, in our, okay, so we're on a Police Academy jag here. Um, we're on Police Academy, last broadcast I did the, the original Police Academy movie. Um, all right, and then there's the, uh, the sequel here, Police Academy 2, their first assignment, um, released March 29th, 1985, basically, um, all right, so anyways, let me, all right, so I'll lay all this out, boom, 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 okay, all right, so here's the, the cast, basically, 90% of the cast returns for their sequel. Steve Gutenberg is Officer Kerry Mahoney. Bubba Smith is Officer Moses Hightower. David Graff is Officer Eugene Tackerberry. Uh, Michael Winslow is Officer Larvell Jones. He's the guy that does that... <coughs> the special effects with his voice. Um, Howard Hessman as Commandant Officer Pete Lassard. George Gaines as... Uh, Commandant Eric Lazard and Bobcat Goldwaif as uh, Zed McClunk, the leader of the Scullion Gang. So basically, the, the uh, honestly, this movie is hard to follow at times because I got it on right now. Um, Scullion Gang, led by Zed McClunk, attack a police precinct. Chief Henry Hurst tells 16th uh, Precinct Captain Pete Lazard that as his precinct is the worst in the city and gives him 30 days to turn things around or he is done forever at his, in his career. After calling his brother Eric at the police academy, Pete Lassard gets six new recruits. Cor, uh, mm, Carrie Mahoney, Hightower, Larvell Jones, Eugene Tackaberry, Vivian Hooks, and Doug Fatchel are the new 16th... Uh, uh, join the uh, 16th precinct. Uh, Lieutenant Mauser tries to under, under, undermine the new police officers. <coughs> All right. So, um, Mahoney is reassigned and tasked with, like, uh, bringing down the Scullion gang. Now, there's a subplot to this, is that Officer Eugene Tackaberry falls in love with uh, Corporal Sergeant uh, Corporal Kathleen Kirkland. Mahoney and other police officers go undercover to infiltrate the Scullion gang, but his cover is blown and all the other officers raid the Scullion gang hideout. Mahoney and Commandant Lassard overpower and arrest the gang. Uh, Eugene Tackerberry and Kathleen Kirkland get married with all officers being at their wedding. They drive off in a big monster truck, Bigfoot. So, um, it's a, not a bad movie. Uh, there are, like, hmm. Steve Gutenberry does most of the commentary. Like, uh, there, 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 this movie has extras in it, like, uh, commentary from Steve Gutenberg and the rest, couple of the cast members like Bubba Smith, Michael Winslow. Um, all right. So here's like, uh, there it is. There's some of the cast. There's the original cast right there. Um, and I posted the trailer for Police Academy 2 on my Facebook page and my blogcast page. Um, all right. So, and a couple of clips from the movie. One hilarious clip. Oh my God! Um, all right, so one hilarious clip. Uh, Carrie Mahoney uh, replaces like uh, hmm, 
Officer. Mm, okay. Mm. Okay. Carrie Mahoney uh, replaces Lieutenant Mauser's shampoo with, like, uh, glue. And uh, as Lieutenant Ma Mauser is showering, his hands stick to his, like, uh, head. And, like, they, he just he didn't know who did it. But there's funny scenes like that in this movie. And it's, like, just really, like, uh, really funny scenes. I think I posted that scene on, posted several clips, including that scene on my Facebook page and my blogcast page. So, all right. Hmm. All right, so yeah. Mm. Mm. <coughs> All right, so, anyways, okay, it is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 4.0, episode 233, Sunday, September 5th, 2022. September 25th, 2022. We've got Season 5 of Magnum P.I. coming up next. Um, a Star Wars character, a hockey car hero, a legendary WWE jobber, uh, a classic album, a rock star plane crashes, and This Week in Van Halen history. So, yeah, uh, tonight's craft beer, um, it is called Zesty Farmer Pale Ale. It is by the River Road Brewing and Hops in Bayfield, Ontario, Canada. Mm. Little bit of a lemony aftertaste to it. Not bad. Not not a bad beer at all. Um, River Road Brewing and Hops is based like right outside of Bayfield, Ontario, Canada. And I do give this a rating out of 10 later on in the group. Later on in the blogcast. So if you want to throw it a number later on and see if it, like, it's the same as mine, feel free to do so. Mmm. 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 Yeah. Um, if they say it's a good long cutting beer, I agree with them. Plus, it's like a good spring beer too, spring and fall. I can't see this during the summer. It's just a spring and fall beer right now. Um, but that may may change a little bit. So, and I'm pairing it up with like Apple and Estates Jamaican rum. So, all right, mm. good combo there. Mm. All right, so. Mm. Ah, with a good Rocky Patel and a Rocky Patel cigar, which I got from Riverfront Cigars. Mm. Mm. <coughs> All right. So, anyways, yeah. Um, as I'm going to remind you guys, all through. Oh, wait a minute. All right. So, this blogcast is not spam. Um, the audio version goes out later on. On Oh, what do we got here? So, all right. <coughs> the audio version, just checking these. Uh, do, 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 do. All right. The audio version goes out later on Spotify, Anchor FM, Buzzsprout, YouTube, my own YouTube channel. Big Jim Blogcast Live, um, and all these audio listening platforms where you listen to your po podcast too. So like us, share us, subscribe to us. Again, we're not spam. I want to say hi to everybody in the Port Elgin, Sarnia groups, uh, Sarnia Rocks, Chain Reaction, all the pop culture, retro, classic, nostalgia groups, um, all the hard rock, classic rock, Van Halen groups, craft beer, cigars, Star Wars, sci-fi, pro wrestling, uh, Classic TV and movies. Here we go. So, and here we go. Now we're on to we're on to season five of Magnum PI. So, mm. all right. Here's the cast photo from season five of Magnum PI. There we go. There it is. Um, and here, oh yeah, bonus features. Like I watched. Now let me. All right, so here, okay, so we got. All right, so I'm taking this out here, uh, Magnum PI season five, the complete fifth season. Um, ooh, uh, loose there. All right, there we are. The complete fifth season of Magnum PI. So, anyways, all right, so Magnum PI season five. 
debuted um, September 27, 1984, ran until April 4th, 1985, 22 episodes in all. Um, all right, so... Hmm. All right. So here we go. There, there we are. All right, so... It, uh, the cast, again, Tom Selleck as Thomas Magnum, Roger E. Mosley as T.C. Calvin, Larry Minetti as Rick Wright, John Hillerman as Jonathan Higgins. Now, it's interesting, the season five guest stars were a very young Sharon Stone, John Ratzenberger from Cheers, Pat Hingle, Eugene Roche, Dennis Weaver, and character actor Sam Anderson. Now, episodes, season five opened with a two-parter of, let's see here. Okay. Echoes of the Mind, Part 1 and Part 2. Uh, it's double trouble for Magnum when he finds himself falling for sexy Diane Dupree, only to discover that her seductive t- twin sister, Dedra, claims that Diane is a paranoid hysteric with a history of attempted murder. So, my favorite episodes from season, like, uh, five were, like, uh, Max Back, um... Magnum thinks he's seeing a ghost when he stumbles upon a man who looked exactly like his old friend Mac, who died in a car explosion. Car bomb explosion meant for Magnum. Um, the Legacy. Okay, Luther Gillis, File 101. Or, uh, one. Blind Justice. Uh, our, the Legacy of Garwood Huddle. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Let Me Hear Music. And the season finale of hmm, all right of a pretty good dancing chicken magnum's behind bars when he goes undercover in a, as a convict in order to see clues about the disappearance of a seven year old girl 17 year old girl and so all right so hmm, okay so anyways yeah hmm. so now season five all right hmm, there are bonus All right, here. Okay, so... All right. There we are. Season 5, complete fifth season of Magnum P.I. Now... CBS debuted uh, uh, debuted season five of Magnum PI on September 27, 1984, in the Thursday night, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. time slot. So here I'll show you. Got like, there we go. All right, there's the 1984-85 uh, network television schedule. NBC. Well, they had stiff this year. This year, Magnum PI had stiff competition. So, um, hmm. All right, so there we are. So opposite um, NBC, they had the Cosby Show and Family Ties. Right opposite, like uh, there we go. And then ABC had Who's the Boss? So. <clears throat> which would go on to kill off the A-team. So there you go, Magnum. Um, it didn't look good for uh, the end of the season for Magnum. Um, there we are. Look at that. And Mr. Bel- a- ABC had Who's the Boss at 8 p.m., Mr. Belvedere at 8.30. NBC had The Cosby Show at 8 p.m. and Family Ties at 8.30 p.m. Um, so basically... Mm. 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 <coughs> mm. Excuse me. So basically, Magnum P.I. ends the uh, 1984-85 TV season ranking number 15 with a 19.1 rating. That basically means it's got 19 million viewers. Uh, it slips out of the top 10. Cosby Show... Ah, rank number three uh, with a 24.2 rating. That's like 26 million viewers. Family Ties, rank number five with a 22.1 rating. 
uh, that's 23 million viewers. So the end of the season didn't look good for like Magnum PI. So, but he's CBS, as we all know, will renew Magnum PI for season six in the 1985-86 TV schedule, primetime television network schedule. So, and I did post a few clips from season five, like uh, from Magnum PI. Look for them on my blogcast page and my Facebook page. So, right on. Again, the complete fifth season of Magnum PI. They've got a bonus episode on here, The Treasure of Kalanipuyupu. Um, no, that is coming up in season six. So, but yeah, they've got. All right. So, there you go. Mm. All right. So. Mm. Mm. All right. So, yeah, it uh, the new kid on the new kid in town, the new kids in town, Family Ties and Cosby Show, were sort of sort of taking like a stranglehold, slow stranglehold on the on the rating on the Thursday night time slot. I had to relight this thing. All right, so I'm gonna put that right there. Um, all right. Mm. Okay. This is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 4.0, episode 233. It is Sunday, September 25th, 2022. Thank you for ending your weekend with me. I know most of us got to go back to work tomorrow. So, mm. all right. Um, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. We did their birthday shout-outs, countdowns, local events. Um, yeah. Mm. All right. So I want to remind everybody, as I will throughout the blogcast, that this Big Jim Blogcast Live is not spam. The audio version goes out later on Spotify, Anchor FM, Google Podcast, my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube, um, and all these audio listing platforms. So like us, share us. Subscribe to us and look for like uh, Big Jim Blogcast Live on these following uh, uh, platforms there. So you can find it there. Yeah. Uh, Shouts out to everybody watching in the Sarnia Port Elgin group, Sarnia Rocks, Chain Reaction, uh, the pop culture groups, the retro classic uh, nostalgia groups, um, the classic rock Van Halen, uh, Crap Beer. Cigars, Star Wars, Pro Wrestling, Blogspot, Classic TV and Movies, Tom Selleck, Peter Frampton, to Jim Crochet. Right on. You guys really rock. So, anyways, yeah. Mm. All right. All right. Tonight's craft beer. Um, it is called Zesty Farmer Pale Ale. It's a spring and fall beer. Mm. No unpleasant aftertaste to it. Little bit of a lemony taste to it. When I read that, uh oh, I thought, I'm not, uh, lemon and beer, yeah, you know. But this beer surprised me, you know. Fuck. And I give do I do give it a rating out of 10 later on in the blog cast. So if you want to throw out a number and see if it's the same as mine, do so. Mm. Mm. All right. Yeah. All right. So, um, and I'm pairing it up with like Appleton Estate, uh, Rum, good fine Jamaican rum. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so, all right, what do we got here? Uh, yeah, okay, so, all right. Mm. And I've got a good cigar here, uh, Rocky Patel cigar. Mm. <coughs> all right. So, <coughs> excuse me. So, if you want to share this blogcast all over Facebook, please feel free to do so. So, um, let's see. What do I want? All right. Um, okay. Charitable group. Uh, let's see. Mm. Ooh, yeah. Okay. 
Um, all right, so. Mm, mm, all right. Eight track tapes, USA. All right. Okay. All right. So I was just. There we go. Okay. There we are. All right. So now we get to our like uh, random Star Wars character, our minor st our Star Wars character from the Star Wars character encyclopedia. We have got Garindan. Mm, okay. So here's a picture of him. All right, this dude right here, species Kubaz. Um, here he is, like with like a stormtrooper. Now, it's a blink. It, it's kind of a blink, and you'll miss it in the Star Wars film, in the first Star Wars film. Um, and here he is. Like this is his, like uh, he's a Moss Eisley spy. So now, all right. So anyways, all right. There's a better, better close-up picture of him. So, whoa, there we go. All right, so, his species, Kubaz, he's considered to be the greatest spy in Moss, as, in Moss Eisley Spaceport. His face was hidden. Uh, it, mm. Now, he's a greedy and immoral Kubaz from planet Kubindi. He's a paid informant who works for the highest bidder. In Moss Eisley, the Imperial authorities hire Garindan to locate two missing droids. The spy quickly picks up the trail of Luke Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi, R2-D2, and C-3PO. Now, he followed them there, like, once he found out where they were, he followed them there to Docking Bay 94. He called the Imperial troopers to attack, but the droids escaped. He was later interrogated by the Rebellion and wanted to know where the bear, his whereabouts of his cousin Udin Garandan also discovered that Luke Skywalker, hmm, this guy, um, mm -hmm, sold a land speeder in Moss Eisley. Now, he helped Darth Vader confirm the, uh, the, the, the identity of the person that destroyed the Death Star. Garandan also went to Hoth. Garandan, Garandan went to Hoth because he was paid by um, pirates and Jedi hunters to find the location of the Jedi. Once he found, once found, he killed the pirate crew and sold the information to the Jedi hunters. Now, all right, so more of his species, uh, dark goggles, insect eating trunk. Um, he has a long trunk, which he uses to dine on his favorite delicacy, insects. So I, uh, and I posted the Brief history of Garandan on my from the Star Wars Minute on my Facebook page and my blogcast page. So like, look for it uh, and watch it. Yeah. Mm. 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 All right. So there you go. There's our random Star Wars character from the Star Wars character encyclopedia. So mm, all right. Mm. There we are, there's... Hmm. Okay. So... Hmm. Okay. So, anyways, thank you for watching. Hmm. Alright, I gotta... I don't know what it is. Relate that... Oh, yeah. Hmm. Alright. So... Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> All right.
going over these notifications. Um, all right. So, anyways, um, yeah, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live, uh, episode 233 of Sunday, September 25th, 2022. Thank you for ending your weekend with me watching. Uh, mm. Mm. Good cigar. It is a Rocky Patel, Connecticut. Got that from, like, uh, um, Riverfront Cigars here in Sarnia. Um, now, my craft beer for tonight is called Zesty Farmer Pale Ale. Now, I'll just top that up. I visited now. All right. I'm going to top up the beer. All right. So, look how that pours. Mm. All right. Woo. Got to get. All right. So, anyways, Zesty Farmer Pale Ale is tonight's craft beer. Mmm. Mmm. It's a good beer. So far, it's a good beer. It's a spring and fall beer. I can't see it being in. Uh, that, that's my vibe on it so far. Um, there's no unpleasant aftertaste to it. A uh, little bit of a. You can taste a little bit of a lemon in it. Um, but yeah, River Road Brewing and Hops. They're in Bayfield, Ontario, Canada. They're basically a farm based brewery. Um, mm. Farm fresh beer. Yes, they are. Um, and uh, yeah, you should, next time you're in Bayfield, go visit the, the brewery. Mm. Mm. I do give this a rating out of 10 later on in the blogcast. So um, if your number, throw, if you want to throw out a number, feel free to. See if it's the same one with mine. Um, yeah, do that. Um, pairing it up with like uh, Apple and Stage Jamaican rum. Um, mm, 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 yeah. Fuck. All right. So where were we? Oh, yeah. Boom. Mm, all right. So. Mm. Oh, yeah. All right. Mm. Okay. So, what do we got here? All right. So, anyways, our hockey card hero for tonight, as we get to him, it is Brian Little. There we are. There's his hockey card. Mm. All right. There's his hockey card. There's his stats on the back. All right. So, Mr. Little. Mm, born November 12th, 1987. Age 34. He was born in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Six foot, 191 pounds. He was raised in, uh, in Cambridge, Ontario. Played minor ice hockey for the Cambridge Hawks of the Alliance Pavilion League in the 2001-2002 uh, season. Uh, played in the 2001 Quebec Pee Wee Tournament. Age 14, plays for the Cambridge Winterhawks Junior B team. Age 15, joins the Barry Colts of the OHL. Um, hmm. Now, pro career, in the 2006 NHL entry draft, he was selected first round, 12th overall, by the Atlanta Thrashers to send him to play for the AHL team, the Chicago Wolves. He signed a three-year entry-level contract with the Thrashers, and makes the Thrashers NHL roster right out of training camp. So, hold on here. There we go. October 5th, 2007, he makes his NHL debut. Uh, but he's demoted back down to the Wolves. He goes on to win the 2008 Calder Cup Championship. In his 2008-2009 NHL season with the Thrashers, he scores 31 goals. August 2010, signs a three-year, $7.5 million contract with Atlanta as a restricted free agent. After getting a concussion... Uh, in a preseason game against the Minnesota Wild, he uh, he joined the team. He sat out, but he jo he joined the team for the 2019-2020 season. Um, unable to play the regular season, but he played in seven games before getting hit in the head by a shot on November 5th. Now he returns to practice in January, but medical advice had him sitting out for the rest of the season because of. He had to go out surgery for a perforated eardrum. He did not play the 2021 season. 
March 21st, 2022, the Jets traded him to the Arizona Coyotes. So when the Atlanta Thrashers became the Jets, they traded him and his contract to the Arizona Coyotes, where he's still still there. Uh, and he's contemplating retirement, too. So, And I posted several highlights of Brian of uh, Brian Little on my Facebook page and my blogcast page. So, yeah, he's a, quite the scrapper, this guy. So, all right. There's our hockey card hero. Mm. Mm. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, I need to... All right. Mm. Hold on a sec. Mm. There we go. I know that's gross, but I had to do that. There we go. Ah, uh, there we are. So, sorry, it was just uh, bothering me. So, yeah. All right. Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> okay. So, hmm. All right. So, anyways, yeah, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 4.0, episode 233. It is Sunday, September 25th, 2022. Thank you for watching and, uh, you know, ending your weekend with me. Um, so, mm. yeah. Mm. Mm. <coughs> all right. Mm. So, all right. Mm. Okay. So, anyways, yeah, our craft beer for tonight. Let's get... All right, it is called Zesty Farmer Pale Ale. and is by the River Road Brewing and Hops Brewery in Bayfield, Ontario, Canada. Mm. Mm. Pretty good beer. Spring and fall beer, basically. Um, you know, it, uh, yeah, uh, basically like uh, when you're at a bonfire. Um, you know, I... I I can't see this, anybody, well, I can't see it being a summer beer, but it's good, there's no unpleasant aftertaste to it, like, it's got lemon in it, uh, but you can only, a li little bit of taste of lemon, so, mmm, mmm, it does go down really smoothly, though, um, and I do give it a rating out of 10 later on in the blogcast, so look at that, pale ale, there you go, and it's great, yeah, if they, I agree with them if it's a good lawn cutting beer, after you've cut the lawn, you know, you're out in the deck, you want a beer, this beer's for you. So, yeah, and uh, if you want to throw out a number, feel free to do so. If it's, I'll do that at the end of the blogcast. Uh, pairing it up with, like, uh, Apple and Estates Jamaican rum. Um, oh, good, yeah. Mm. 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 <coughs> really good. With like, uh, and I've got like a Rocky Patel Connecticut vintage cigar. Mmm. Mmm. I want to say that remind everybody that I've, I've been reminding everybody that this blogcast is not spam. The audio version goes out later on Spotify, Anchor FM, Google Podcast, my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube. And all these audio listening platforms where you listen to your podcast too. So, shouts out to everybody watching in the Sarnia Port Elgin groups, Sarnia Rock, Sarnia Ontario, Chain Reaction, all the pop culture, retro, classic, nostalgia groups, um, all the like uh, classic rock, Van Halen groups, the craft beer, cigars, the Star Wars, the pro wrestling. Uh, Blogspot, Classic TV, Movies, um, Tom Selleck, Peter Frampton, Jim Crochet. You guys rock. So, oh, what do we got here? So, all right. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so, mm, all right. So, yeah. Once again, we're not spam. Mm. Mm. <coughs> so, yeah. Mm. All right. Mm. All right. Now we get to our classic WWE jobber. Mm. 
He is <laughs> Iron Mike Sharp. There we go. There we go. Who remembers Iron Mike Sharp out there? All right. There he is. Hmm. Okay. So, Iron Mike was born uh, in Hamilton, Ontario, October 28, 1951. At his peak, he was 6 foot 4 inches, 283 pounds. He debuted in 1975. Hmm. He was trained by Dewey Robertson at age 25. He started in the NWA All-Star Wrestling, winning the NWA Canadian Tag Team title twice with Moose Morosley and Salvatore Bellamo. Um, 1980-81, he worked for Stu Hart's Stampede Wrestling, winning the Stampede International Tag Team title. February 1983, he joins the WWE as self as He's, he is a self-proclaimed Canada's greatest athlete. He's managed by Captain Lou Albano. His greatest WWF moments, he appeared on Piper's Pit in 1984. At the 1988 King of the Ring pay-per-view, he pins Boris Zukov to reach the second round. Uh, he tag-teamed with Hulk Hogan during a tour of Japan in 1984. He feuded with these two guys, uh, Barry Horowitz, and be uh, and the Brooklyn brawler Steve Lombardi, uh, Steve Lombardi, a great friend to Big Jim Blogcast Live. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. Um, uh, last televised match was June 6, 1995, losing to the uh, Smoking Guns in a tag team match with Dwayne Gill. Now he goes on the independent circuit. He competes in Mid Eastern Wrestling Federation. Feuding, mostly losing to Nikolai Volkov, Virgil, Bam Bam Bigelow, Demolition Axe, and his last match for the Federation was on November 5th, 15th, 1997, losing to George the Animal Steel. Now, in his retirement, he opened Mike Sharp's School of Pro Wrestling in Brock, in Brick, New Jersey. It's since closed down. Unfortunately, he passed away January 17th in Hamilton, Ontario, at the age of 64. Um, it, uh, yeah, so his championships, he's like a one-time NWA Mid-American champion, one-time five-star uh, wrestling tag team champion, one-time Mid-South Louisiana champion, uh, two-time NWA Canadian tag team champion, one-time NWA Pacific Coast champion, and one-time Worldwide Wrestling Alliance uh, champion. So here's to you, Mr. Sharp. Mm. All right. So, and I posted like several of uh, his promos, interviews, and matches I, with on my blogcast page and my Facebook page. Um, there we go. And he used to go, yeah, pat himself on the back for a, a job well done. Um, so yeah, there's to you, Mister Mister Sharp. Jeez, uh, okay. So, anyways, what do we got here? So, hmm. all right. So. And that is Iron Mike Sharp. So, mm. Mm. all right, let's do it again. Do, 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 do. Let's do it again. Mm. All right. So, yeah, and uh, mm. like I said, I posted several of his matches and his like uh, promos with Mean Gene Okerlund um, and his matches with the Ultimate Warrior. And I think a few other matches uh, on my blogcast page and my Facebook page. Mm. Mm. <coughs> mm. Excuse me. All right. And so it's Big Jim Blogcast Live version 4.0, episode 233. <laughs> Sunday, September 25th, 2022. Thank you for watching. Um, tonight's craft beer, and I'm pairing it off with, like, uh, Apple Estates uh, Jamaican rum. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Mm. Mm. Tonight's craft beer, it is called, and I'll top it up. Mm. Mm, okay, it is called... Zesty Farmer Pale Ale. 
by the River Road Brewing and Hops Brewery in Bayfield, Ontario, Canada. Mm. Mm. Really good beer. There's a little bit of a lemony after, lemon taste, a 1% lemon taste to it. It's a good lawn cutting beer, as you can see on the can. It's a good spring and uh, fall beer. Um, goes down really smooth. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good bonfire of beer, you know, when you're having a bonfire. So, mm. Mm. yeah. So, if anybody wants to throw out a number uh, when I do, uh, see if it's the same with mine, please feel free to do so. Um, mm. So, mm. all right. There we are. Okay. Um, now, I'm going to remind everybody tonight that this broadcast is not spam. The audio version goes out later on Spotify, Anchor FM, Buzzsprout, Google Podcast, my own YouTube channel, Big Jim's Blogcast Live at YouTube, um, and all these audio listening platforms where you listen to your podcast too. So like us, share us, subscribe to us. Um, I want to say hi to everybody watching in the uh, Sarnia Port Elgin groups, Chain Reaction, Sarnia Rock, Sarnia Ontario, you got to love Sarnia, uh, all the pop culture, retro classic, nostalgia groups, all the hard rock, classic rock, Van Halen groups, craft beer, cigars, sci-fi, Star Wars, the pro wrestling groups, the Blogspot, classic TV and movies, Peter Frampton, um, Jim Crochet, Tom Selleck, Magnum P.I., you guys rock. So, all right. So we've got our classic album coming up next. Mm. Mm. <coughs> All right. So, mm. okay. Mm. Mm. Okay. Now we've got our classic album. All right. So, do, 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 do you. You, Frampton Comes Alive. All right. And there's Mr. Frampton right there. Um, this was released January 6th, 1976, recorded live on June 17th, August 24th, and November 22nd in 1975 in uh, San Francisco, in New York, Long Island Arena in New York, and the Sunny Plattsburgh Arena in New York. Um, great album. Um do you you and it opens up holy shit look at that so there we go there's like um a double live album uh there's the whole right on right there so the songs mm. all right mm. you've got like a whole all right mm. it is the classic tale do, 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 25 year old all right, they give more of a bio in here. All right, so anyways, yeah. Um, side one, you've got introduction, something's happening, doobie wash, show me the way, it's a plain shame. Side two, all, oh yeah, 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 oh. You can also get this in 8-track. Now for those of you, I'll, I'll explain later what this is. Some of you may, may not know what this is, but uh, a lot of my older viewers would know. So, I will get to that in a minute. Um, all right. So, side two. All I, all I want to be is by your side. When to change. Baby, I love your way. I want to go to the sun. Side three. Penny for your thoughts. I'll give you money. Uh, shine on. Jumping Jack Flash. Lines on my face. Side four. Lines on my face. Can Do you feel like we do? So... But yeah, the band, Peter Frampton on lead vocals, lead guitar, the talk box on Do You Feel Like We Do. Um, all right, so. Uh, Bob Mayo, Bob Mays on, all right, well, wait a minute. Do you feel like I do? Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. There's his band, uh, Stanley Sheldon on bass. Bob Mayo on ba on uh, Bob Mayo on rhythm guitar, uh, John Simos on drums. So there's the uh, opening there. There we go. You got a wide shot of that. There you go. Um, 
There's a big write-up in here. Um, okay, so anyways, Frampton Comes Alive was a smash breakthrough hit success for Peter Frampton. Frampton Comes Alive entered the charts at 191 and we reached the number one spot on the Billboard 200 on April 10th, 1976, spending 10 weeks at number one. Uh, best-selling album of 1976, becoming the one of the best-selling live albums to date, selling over 11 million copies and more. I think back then this came in the mail. Like, I mean, everybody had one, had this. This came in the mail. Um, three singles like were released from like Frampton Comes Alive, Baby. Uh, Baby, I Love Your Way, Do You Feel Like We Do, and Show Me The Way. They were all like top 10 smash hits. Uh, do You Feel Like We Do, That's the mo that would be the closing encore uh, song of his at his concert. So this like this album hit number one in Canada, U.S., Europe, Japan. Um, <coughs> now, the level of success, I mean, basically Peter Frampton became so successful that then President Gerald Ford invited him to stay at the White House for one weekend. He was that he had that many powerful fans. So, um, this, would you believe I got for $1.99 at uh, Goodwill? Frampton Comes Alive, 8-track. Now, for you young kids out there who don't know what an 8-track is, this was like, all right, I'll show you this. Hold on here. Um, basically, 8-tracks were like, uh, you know, These were like the first version of uh, eight tracks. Then you had like the uh, cassette, then the CD, the rec, the vinyl. Vinyl. This was basically the the norm back in the 70s. Um, but eight tracks died out in the early 80s due to like uh, you know um, no interest in them anymore. Like um, so, there we go. Frampton comes alive, and uh, it was replaced by the cassette. Uh, which was eventually overtaken by the CD. But these are coming back in a big way. So, anyways, yeah. Um, all right. So, and I found this basically. No, yeah. we. I found, this is, you know where I found this? In a value village in Windsor last weekend. So, I had to come and get it. I had to go and get it. So, all right. And there's Mr. Frampton in his glory days. So, do, 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 do you, you. So I posted, um, show me the way, the live version of show me the way, baby, I love your way. And, mm, do, do, do. Mm. Well, mm. yeah, yeah. Uh, do, 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 do you feel like we do? Baby, I love your way. And, what else was there? Uh, do, 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 you. Um, show me the way. I posted those live videos on my Facebook page, my blogcast page. So, of course, the tour, he toured all over the world. Um, and it was a blockbuster, it was a blockbuster year. 76, 77, 78 uh, was a blockbuster year. Well, those, those were good years for Peter Frampton. So there's the the uh, eight track version of it and the and the double live album so with the write up in it from Cameron Crowe uh, contributing editor to Rolling Stone so mm. it's the full range of his live material both acoustic and electric um, oh yeah yeah legendary legendary uh, record there so all right and i posted the live versions of show me the way uh do you feel like we do and baby i love your way on uh my facebook page and my blogcast on the blogcast page so yeah and the eight track i did a check on ebay and amazon it goes for eight dollars eight dollars fuck can you believe that fuck holy shit so all right, boom. All right, so 
<coughs> All right. I had to relight the cigar again. Whew. All right. Mm. <coughs> okay. So. Mm. All right. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Like I do. Mm. All right. So. Mm. Okay. So anyways, yeah. Um, mm. All right. My craft beer for tonight, accompanied by, like, uh, Appleton Estates Jamaican rum. Mm. All right. So good. Good one. Mm. Oh, yeah. Before I get into that, uh, you guys out there, this is the Growler. It's a Ontario craft beer guide. Uh, you can pick it up for three bucks at any craft brewery. Um it's got all the listings in here of craft breweries all in, in Ontario, the rank and rating and what uh, their amenities, if they serve food or not. There you go. This one's for you. So, mm. all right. So, okay. All right. So, yeah. My Oh, yeah. The craft beer for tonight, it is called Zesty Farmer Pale Ale. By River Road Brewing and Hops in Bayfield, Ontario, Canada. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Really good beer. Um, smooth, pleasant aftertaste to it. There's a little bit of lemon in it. Now, when I first read lemon on here, I thought, yeah, yeah man, no, you know. It's not going to turn out well. And it's, so far, it has. This is a good spring and fall beer. And it's good for, like, uh, after you've finished cutting your lawn. So, yeah. Um... And I do give it a rating out of 10 later on in the blogcast. So you throw out a number like I see some people have. Uh, it might may or may not be the same as mine. So, mm. Mm. Again, if you ever got the chance to uh, visit River Road Brewing and Hops, please do so. It's a great brewery. Farm, ba farm brewery. So, yeah. Hmm. Mm. There we are. Just move that a little bit. Um, it is Sunday, September 25th, 2022. This is a Big Jim's Blogcast Live version 4.0, episode 233. Um, I'm going to remind everybody tonight that this blogcast is not spam. The audio version goes out later on Spotify, Buzzsprout, Anchor FM, Google Podcasts, YouTube, my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube, um, and all these audio listening platforms where you listen to your podcast too. So, like us, share up, subscribe to us. Um, it's not spam. I want to say hi to everybody watching in the Sarnia Port Elgin groups, especially Sarnia Rocks. Michelle, you guys rock. Um, uh, Chain Reaction, all the pop culture, retro, classic, nostalgia groups, uh, all the classic rock. Uh, Van Halen groups, the craft beer, cigars, sci-fi, Star Wars, all the pro wrestling groups, all the blog groups, all the classic TV and movies, Peter Frampton, Jim Crochet, Tom Selleck, Magnum P.I. Thanks for watching, guys and girls. So, anyways, yeah. Mm, all right. Gong time. All right. Mm. 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 Okay, so, and when I do craft beer reviews, I don't go, oh, thank you, it's a very exquisite tasting beer. It's like, I don't get fancy, I just go with my gut. So, my gut tells me this is a great tasting beer. So, anyways, yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay, all right. Um, do, 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 do some switching here. Whoa, all right, there we go. Mm to my profile uh, yeah there we are okay good 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 um, alright so let's do it again 
do you, you feel like I do? Mm -hmm. All right. So now we get to Rockstar Plane Crashes. All right. And we got... singer-songwriter, the late Jim Croce. Now, it was Thursday, September 20th, 1973. Jim Croce pilots uh, Robert Elliott, Manny Mousewire, comedian George Stevens, booking agent Ken Cortese, and road manager Dennis Rast were killed when they charted. Um, all right. Were killed when they chartered... Uh, Beechcraft E-185 uh, airplane. It crashed into a tree during the takeoff from the Natch uh, Natch Natch the Natch uh, Regional Airport in Natch I, this is not easy to say, in Natch, Louisiana. Now, Jim Crochet was 30 years old, uh, and he was flying to Sherman, Texas for a concert. Now, um, it takes off. Boom, it hits a tree, bam, everyone on board is killed. So, investigations showed the twin-engine plane crashed after after clipping a pecan tree at the end of a runway. So, boom, takes off, pecan tree, oh man, crashed. Um, the pilot failed to regain uh, enough altitude to clear the tree and tried to, and had and didn't avoid it. It was the only tree in the area, and well after sunset. It was well after sunset, too. So, um, the National Safety Board, probable cause, it was pilot error due to the uh, downwind takeoff into a black hole, severe darkness, limiting uh, visual perception. Now, Jim Crochet is buried at Solomon Memorial Park, Frazier, in Pennsylvania. So, and I posted several of his songs, like Bad Leroy Brown, I got a name, Operator. You don't mess around with Jim on my Facebook page and my blogcast page. Um, like I said, he was Jim Crochet was only 30 years old. Here's a picture of the plane of the plane right there. That that pretty gruesome right there. Um, singer songwriter Jim Crochet. Um, so yeah, but I posted several of uh, his songs like "Don't Mess Around with Jim" and "Bad Leroy Brown" and my. Facebook page and my blogcast page. So there you go. Um, down south. He's a fight in. I know this doesn't look like a a Beechwood uh, a Beechcraft E85 airplane, but you get the you get the idea there. So, all right. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. Mm. <coughs> All right. So, mm. okay. Mm. All right. It is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 4.0, episode 233, Sunday, September 25th, 2022. Thank you for watching. Um, before we get to my most favorite part in the blogcast, um, I'm going to remind everybody that this blogcast is not spam. The audio version will go out later on Spotify, Buzzsprout, Anchor FM, Google Podcast, my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube, uh, and all these audio listening platforms where you listen to your podcast too. So, like us, share us, subscribe to us. Um, yeah, and so there you go. I want to say hi. Shouts out to everybody watching in the Sarnia, Port Elgin groups, especially Sarnia Rocks, uh, Sarnia Ontario, Chain Reaction, uh, the pop culture, retro classic nostalgia groups, uh, all the pop culture groups, um, uh, all the classic rock, Van Halen groups, craft beer, cigars, sci-fi, Star Wars, all the pro wrestling, Blogspot, classic TV and movies, Peter Frampton, Jim Crochet, Tom Selleck, Magnum PI groups, right on. Thank you for watching. All right. So, 
Hmm, and what do we got here? I'm just checking these notifications out. Um, all right. So, okay. Hmm. 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 <coughs> all right. Tonight's craft beer. Pairing it off with like uh, Apple and Estate Jamaican rum. Um, mm, mm, mm. Yeah. All right. Good. Good stuff. Um, mm, tonight's craft beer it is called Zesty Farmer Pale Ale. I will top that up here. Mm. All right. Okay. There it is. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Um, this is by the River Road Brewing and Hops in Bayfield, Ontario, Canada. So, they said it's a good beer after you cut after you cut the lawn. I'm I, I agree with that. It's a good spring and fall beer. There's no unpleasant aftertaste. Goes down smooth. There's a little bit of a lemony taste to it. When I first read that on the can, before uh, trying it for the very first time, I thought, no man, lemon beer, beer and lemon, no way could that ever be like good. But I surprise surprisingly it is. So yeah. Mm. 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 Alright. And I do give it a rating out of ten later on in the blog cast. So if you throw it a number, um, like I several people have done right now, it's the same as mine. Maybe it maybe it will be, maybe it won't be. Feel free to do so. So alright. Good cigar. Mm. Alright. Mm. 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 Okay. Rocky Patel Vintage of Connecticut. Mm. All right. Mm. <coughs> okay. Mm. Mm. All right. Now we get to my most favorite time. In the blog cast. This week in Van Halen history from 9th, September 19th to the 25th. Um, September 19th, 1979, Van Halen played the Stampede Corral in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. September 20th, 1980, Van Halen plays the Sports Arena in Los Angeles, California. September 20th, 1988, David Lee Roth plays the Mako Manai Ice Arena in Sapporo, Japan. September 20th, 2004, Van, Van Halen played the Mark of the Quad Cities in Moline, Illinois. September 25th, September 21st, 1986, Van, Van Halen plays Eros Bogarta in San Bernardino, California. September 21st, 2009, Edward Van Halen appears himself as a cameo in the season premiere of CBS's Two and a Half Men. September 22nd, 1978, Black, or Van Halen opens for Black Sabbath. At the Selland Arena in Fresno, California. September 22, 1979, Van Halen plays the Agrodome in Regina, Saskatchewan. September 22, 1985, Sammy Hager and Eddie Van Halen perform together at the First Farm Aid in Champaign, Illinois, and announces he is joining Van Halen. September 23, 1978, Van Halen plays Summerfest at the stadium in Anaheim, California, when Van Halen parachutes on stage. September 23, 1986, David Lee Roth plays Market Square Arena in Indianapolis, Indiana. September 23, 1994, David Lee Roth appears at the opening at the HMV Music Store in Boston, Massachusetts. September 24, 1995, Van Halen plays Mark of the Quad City um, again in Moline, Illinois. September 25, 2004, Van Halen played the American Airlines Center in Dallas, Texas. September 25th, 1982, Van Halen plays Hearst Memorial Coliseum in Shreveport, Louisiana. And that is all. Boom. For this week in Van Halen history. Oh, yeah. All right. So, that is it for this week in Van Halen history. Um, so, yeah. All right. Hmm. All right, what do we got here? Just reading up. All right, so, okay. Mm. All right, so, 
Mm. Ugh. Yuck. <coughs> All right. Now, before I rate the beer, I'm going to give you guys an inspirational, motivational quote. All right. The secret to success is to know something nobody else knows by Aristotle Onassis. I'll repeat that again. The secret to success is to know something that nobody else knows. Aristotle Onassis. There you go. So, anyways, tonight it is Big Jim Blogcast Live, version 4.0, episode 233, September 25th. Sunday, September 25th, 2022. Um, thank you for watching and ending your weekend with me. Boom. All right. Had a hell of a night tonight. Mm. 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 <coughs> so, yeah. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And he likes those fancy clothes. All right. So, anyways, I am going to... Okay, here we go. So, I'm going to remind one... Okay. So, tonight's craft beer, pairing it with, like, uh, Apple of the States, uh, Jam uh, Jamaican rum. Um, pretty good. So... Mmm, mm, yeah. Tonight's craft beer is called Zesty Farmer Pale Ale. It is by the River Road Brewing and Hops Brewery in Bayfield, Ontario, Canada. Um, I was trying it for the first time tonight. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. So, what have we learned so far? It's got a pleasant, it's a great after, no unpleasant aftertaste. It's a spring and fall beer, suitable for after you've been cutting the lawn um, or bonfire beer on those spring and fall nights. Uh, I can't see this being a summer beer. Uh, you can taste a little, 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 tiny little bit of a lemon in it. And when I first read that in the can, lemon and beer, I thought, no, it's not going to work. I mean, but it's a damn good beer. Mm. Oh, I think long and hard about this. Um, I've struggled. Um... I, uh, believe me, I lost sleep over this, you know, uh, hard decision to make. What do I rate it? So, mm, mm, mm. okay. All right. <clears throat> All right. Here we go. Mm. There we go. Mmm, all right. All right. I gave it a 7 out of 10. Uh, all right. I gave it a 7 out of 10. Um, there we are. Seven out of 10. Yeah, I mean, and Sue, you were right. Um, yeah, seven out of 10. Great job, guys. Great job. Um, all right, so let's see. Mm, all right, so anyways, I will. Uh, mm, mm, all right. All right. Okay, good. All right. I just let them know. Seven out of ten, great beer, you know. Um, All right. Okay. So, yeah. All right. That's right. 7 out of 10 for River for Zesty Farmer Pale Ale River uh, by River Road Brewing and Hops in Bayfield, Ontario, Canada. Mm. Yeah. Ah. Uh, mm. mm. Would I buy it again? Sure, why not? Um, all right. So, yeah. Um, Mm, all right. Mm, mm, okay. Mm. <coughs> Again. Um, all right. Good, good. 7 out of 10. Uh, if you get a chance, visit the River Road Brewing and Hops uh, right outside of Bayfield. They are a farm-based uh, craft brewery. Um 
with uh, with the donkey outside, you know. Um, great little craft brewery. If you get a chance, do it. Visit them. Um, now, I've been getting requests for T-shirts, okay? So, anyways, um, yeah, people ask me, how do I get a T-shirt like yours? Or... Um, whatever, like uh, a plain T-shirt or like anything, they are okay. So if you want T-shirts, I'll show I'll show you. If you want a plain T-shirt like this one, um, plain white. There we go. All right, there we are. Or a tank top, or what have you, or in any style, or a baseball jersey type uh, shirt with like uh, the logo on the back and the front um all right they are 35 bucks a pop that includes shipping and handling that includes four to six weeks for delivery i can't help that just give me uh e-transfer money order uh and i will do my best to get that out to you uh within six to eight weeks so yeah tank top anytime it like uh give me your size your stats and I will do my best to get it out to you like $35 that includes shipping and handling so no problem at all all right so yeah mm. 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 <coughs> all right so anyways I want to remind everybody again that this broadcast is not spam the audio version goes out later on Spotify, Buzzsprout, Anchor FM, Google Podcast, my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Podcast Live, and at YouTube, and all these audio listening podcast platforms. So, like us, share, subscribe to us. All right. So, yeah. Um, and, uh, okay. So, anyways. Mm. All right, people. That's it for me tonight. Um, it, uh, Zesty Farmer Pale Ale, 7 out of 10. Uh, birthday shout-outs, Bob McGee, Janet Walton, Judy Mahoney, Angie Goodyear, Annette Caroline, Laura Tode, Scott Gordon, Paula Loxton, J.R. Smith, Jocelyn Sweeney, Sherry Stewart, Candace Henry, Carol McFadden, Kimberly Dawn, Kristen Borum, Maurice Byers, Don Marie, Brian Beaumier, Tim Bernard. Mm. All right. Doug Dunn, Shelley Andrews, Deborah Pring, Paul Hogarth, Kim Kelter, Tanya Sari, Bernal Gerber, Teresa Carr, Eugene Cortez, Countdowns, Local Events, Police Academy 2, uh, Ma Magnum P.I. Season 5, Garen Dan from Star Wars, Brian Laura, Hockey Card Hero, Classic WWE Jobber, Iron Mike Sharp, Classic Albums, Frampton Comes Alive by Peter Frampton, Rockstar Plane Crash and Jim Crochet, This Week in Van Halen History, T-Shirts, Shout out to everybody watching in the Port Elgin Sarnia Group, Sarnia Rocks, Chain Reaction, all the pop culture, retro, classic, nostalgia groups, Classic Rock, Van Halen Groups, Craft Beer, Cigars, Sci-Fi, Star Wars, Pro Wrestling, Blogspot, Classic TV and Movies, Tom Selleck, Magnum P.I., Peter Frampton, Jim Crochet. Um, yeah. So, all right, people. That, uh, yeah. Um, again, 7 out of 10 for this beer. Uh, to Zesty Farmer Pale Ale by the River Road Brewing and Hops in Bayfield, Ontario, Canada. So... Oh, yeah, and a good cigar, gongs, blah, 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 blah. all right. So, anyways, people, be good, and you may or may not see me next weekend. It's getting to that time in October. All right, so cheers, everybody. Mm. On behalf of Big Jim Vlogcast Live, I'm Jim, so uh, cheers. All right, so... Be good, stay out of trouble. Thank you for ending your weekend with me. It is Big Jim Vlogcast Live, version 4.0, episode 233, Sunday, September 5th, 2022. Boom. See you later. See you next weekend. Hmm.